Alrighty, welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. This is Aussie Gamer 17 and today we are playing Felix the Reaper. This game has just launched into Xbox Game Pass, so the day it came out it's available on Xbox Game Pass for free, obviously, if you already have the subscription. This video is going to take you through uh, chapter number one, we're going to go through the five levels of chapter one and we're going to get the three skulls for all of the first five chapters. We're going to get a number of achievements uh, while we're doing that. Uh, and this guide, this is part one of a series where I'm going to show you how to 100% complete the game. Uh, I haven't, at the time of this recording, I haven't quite completed all of the hardcore levels. So I can't give you an idea of exactly sort of... Uh, a rating out of 10 for difficulty or uh, exactly how long it's all going to take. Uh, the game did just come out today at the time of this recording, guys. All right, so this video is gonna cover where art there. That's act one or chapter one, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna go through the normal levels uh, for act one. You can then replay each of the levels uh, in hardcore mode or whatever they wanna call it. We're gonna cover that in later videos. The first uh, parts of this series is all gonna cover the normal playthroughs of the levels. And we're gonna be grabbing the three skulls available in each of the levels before going back and getting the fourth skull on the hardcore level. So hopefully that all makes sense. Let's get straight into the first level. I'm assuming that you've already beaten the tutorial and got the achievement for beating the tutorial. Very, very simple, guys. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so here we are on chapter one, level two. Level one is, of course, the tutorial. Now, we're gonna pick up the first speed run achievement in this level as well, but I'm gonna do this um, first by showing you all the moves nice and slow. And if, we've, if we do this right, we're going to pick up an achievement for beating the level without going into the sun. And I'm going to go through the moves bit by bit or one by one, showing you exactly what we need to do. And then when, when we've got through the level the first time, I'm then going to show you the speed run to beat the uh, level in 16 seconds or less and pick up another achievement for that. All right, so let's go for it. The uh, objective is to move the deer into that spot where the uh, red circle is. First thing you wanna do is take one step forward and then move the sundial. There we go, that lets you know, that comes up every now and then, lets you know you're making the right moves. And then you just need to head across to the second last tile here and move the sundial again. And now we're gonna go pick up the deer. And then we're gonna move back exactly where we came from and move the sundial once again. Very, very simple level. Has to be if you're gonna beat it within 16 seconds, doesn't it? Back to where we started pretty much. Move the sundial one more time and then put the deer in the finishing location. There is our next achievement, the Pale Dancer for completing a level without getting caught in the sun. Now we're gonna do that exact thing, but we're gonna do it a lot faster to grab the uh, to grab the speed run achievement. All right, let's do this. You do have to think ahead as much as you can. see how we, how did we go there we are I almost made a mistake right there at the end so I wasn't sure but we got it in the 16 seconds and here we go you see the timer there I did it right on 16 seconds that go uh, my practice count I got it in at 15 but I have seen that it's possible to do in 14 as well and I'm sure it is and then you can see we got the three red skulls Okay guys, here we are, chapter one, level three. Let's show you how to get all three red skulls. Let's do it. Okay, right from the start, we wanna hit this switch, which is gonna move this uh, horse carriage or whatever you wanna call it. I'm just trying to zoom out here. Head all the way down to this spot right here. Zoom back in. Pick up the deer's head. And then back to where we just came from. Spin the sun again. Back to the switch. Sorry, I nearly uh, pushed the wrong thing there. And then back one spot. Hit the sundial. And we're going to go put the deer's head up there. 
Very, very simple level. Simple start to the game, really. And as long as we've done it quick enough, I don't think that mistake would have counted. I did press the wrong button at one point there. Let's see. And there we go, guys. There are the three red skulls for chapter one, level three. Here we go with chapter one, level four. The uh, goal is to move the barrel of beer. Okay, here we go. Start by hitting this switch here. Stepping back up there, turn the sundial, head over here, turn the sundial again. We need to pick up these uh, branches or whatever it is. Just let this little thing play out until we can uh, skip it. As soon as it says continue, take one step back, turn the sundial, we're gonna head back to the switch. Of course, I do need to be quick to beat all the time when we for the red skulls. Back to here, head over all the way as far as you can down this way and then turn the sundial again. And then what you wanna do is place the branches down there and then you can head over and pick up the barrel. And now what we wanna do is head all the way back. Turn the sundial here. Head to there. You have to turn the sundial one more time and then place the barrel on that little spot right there. There we go. And if we've done it fast enough, we should get all three red skulls. Let's have a look. There we go. Three red skulls, and just a reminder, we're gonna do the hardcore that you can see there uh, in the red now. We're gonna do those after we've completed all the normal levels. All right, guys, let's move on to level five. Level five, the objective is to put the rocks inside the barrel. Our objective, though, is to get the three red skulls. Let's do it. Okay, guys, first thing we need to do is go and get the rocks. Pick those up, and then we need to put them on this little switch here, and that moves the car. All right, now we need to go pick up these branches. Move back here. Just put the branches right there, and then go and grab the rocks again. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is swap the rocks with these branches, Put the branches down over here. Move the sundial, grab these branches. And we're gonna go put the branches there. Move the sundial one more time, pick up these branches. Put them over on the switch to move the cart yet again. Pick up the rocks. Move to where, right next to where we've put the branches, then move the sundial, and put the rocks into the barrel. And if done right and done fast enough, we're gonna get another three red skulls. There we go, beautiful three red skulls. And we have the final level in chapter one still to go. Let's do it. Okay, guys, now it is time to take care of this poor chap. Let's do it. First thing we want to do is pick up this barrel. Head back and put it on top of this switch here. That's going to move the cart out of our way. Pick up the branches and then just put the branches down in the way of the cart so that when we go and pick the barrel back up, the cart cannot block our path anymore. Pick the barrel up, head back here, move the sundial, head over here, move the sundial again, and head to that square right there before moving the sundial one more time and putting the barrel up on top there. There we go. That is it, guys. Look at that. We've got an achievement. But no, We've completed all main campa campaign levels here. in at Chapter 1. Better luck in the next round. Now, get up. And let's just make sure that we got our, five, uh, our three red skulls. <sighs> there they are. 
Okay, guys, and there are the three skulls for the final part of chapter one. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Please join me next time where we go through chapter two. Hope you guys enjoy this series. Uh, if you do want more from this series, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit the uh, thumbs up button. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you want to help me make more guides like this and make sure that I uh, can continue to do this, please go and support me over on Patreon. There's a link in the video description where you can, can become a member of the Aussie Army for just $1. There's the bell, guys. You know what that means. Class dismissed.